In a previous video, we looked at the idea that when you set up a proportion for a problem, you can actually set it up in many ways. Um, and we talked about that a little bit in a previous video, but in this video, I want to try to write out the proportion for this story problem in as many ways as possible, just to really emphasize that fact. So it says the scale on a map indicates that four centimeters is equivalent to 50 miles. If the distance between two towns on the map is nine centimeters apart, how far apart are the towns? Okay, so um, we're trying to figure out how far apart the towns are in actuality. So we're looking for miles as our x. So you know x x miles, and we know that x miles corresponds to this nine centimeters on the map, right? So those go together, and then also we have the 50 miles going together with the four centimeters on the map. So um, I think the obvious choice here is comparing x miles to nine centimeters is equivalent to comparing 50 miles to four centimeters, right? The actual mileage compared to its corresponding distance on the map, okay? But the other, uh, another way to write basically the same idea is that there was no reason the miles had to be on the top and the centimeters were on bottom. So if I wanted to put centimeters on top and miles on bottom for nine over X, that is just fine. It's just that I better do the exact same thing with uh, my other fraction as well. Okay, so I still have centimeters and centimeters on top, miles and miles on bottom. So they're still corresponding. Um, now, let's we'll see, what else could we do? Well, we could compare the miles to each other and set that equal to the centimeters compared to each other. So, uh, for example, I could take x miles over 50 miles. And so I'd be comparing the number of miles we're trying to find to the 50 miles I know, but then that better correspond to having the 9 centimeters on top and the 4 centimeters on bottom. Right, because I know 50 and 4 go together, so they better both be on bottom. X and 9 go together, so they better both be on top. And of course, I could also put 50 on top, X on bottom, and I could put 4 on top and 9 on bottom. So there's these four different ways we could set up this problem um, and, of course, come to the same answer. And it really doesn't matter which one we actually choose to um, choose to solve this. Um, well, maybe I'll pick the second one there. I kind of like that one. So we'll go ahead and take our cross product. So we multiply 9 and 50. So 9 times 50 equals 4 times x and over here we'll well actually I don't need any scratch work I know 9 times 5 is 45 but I'm actually multiplying by 50 so we'll just add a 0 so 450 and then we know from here we need to divide both sides by 4 in order to isolate my x so I have x by itself over here and then 450 divided by 4 will work out the division. 4 goes into 4 once. Remainder is 0, drop down my 5. 4 goes into 5 once. Remainder of 1, drop down my 0. 4 goes into 10 twice. 2 times 4 is 8. And I'm to the end of 450, so I'll put a decimal point, add a 0, add a decimal point to my quotient and drop that extra zero down and then four goes into 20 of course five times so that's going to be five times four is 20 so that gives me 112.5 but again i better not circle this as my answer i need a label on this thing so 112.5 we were asking about how many miles nine centimeters on the map would correspond to and the answer is 112.5 miles.